guys, welcome back to Meet Through Daily. I'm Jenny. I'm Alejandro. And we're not working today. We're not? Mm -mm. Why are we here? I don't know. We're coming to you from the past or the future. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're going to have a, a short and sweet episode for you guys today. Because it is Veterans Day. It is. But before we get into the news, today we're brought to you by the Meet Too newsletter. Sign up at wearemeetoo.com to stay up to date on Meet Too news, events, and more. And now, let's get into the news. So, sister, a lot of us have a three-day weekend, but do you know why? Well, brother, Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be real with you. I don't really know the origin story. Me either. But our writers actually provide us a story. So uh, let's break it down, yeah? So mm -hmm. Veterans Day originally started as Armistice Day back in 1919. It mm -hmm. marked the end of World War I when fighting stopped on November 11th at the 11th hour oh. of the 11th day of the 11th month. Damn. Whew. So many 11s, them crystal ladies, man. They must have been having a field day going crazy that day. Seriously, all the angel numbers, lady, yeah. are going to be like... So in 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed a law officially changing Armistice Day to Veterans Day to honor all U.S. military veterans, no matter which war they served in. So it's not just about one war anymore. Mm -mm. But it's about honoring all veterans who served our country. Does it honor the battles my stomach has fighting after my suegras frijoles? No, sister, you gotta see a doctor for that one. So Veterans Day is a powerful reminder of the dedication and bravery of our veterans. And that's why we observe Veterans Day every November 11th. Salute. But no, really, like frijoles jokes aside, all jokes aside, like we really appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm. um, you guys really, you know, did it for everybody in the country and we appreciate it. And I mean, enjoy your day off. Today we welcome Ana Sheila Victorino and Cesar Camacho to talk about their new queer Latino podcast. Yes. And the podcast is called Las Paleteras Podcast. That our queerness has been the the thing that's changed the most in ourselves, yeah. but it's been the only constant thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's beautiful why we can be something like this, like Las Paleteras. Venimos en todos los sabores bebés. Tell us a little about yourselves and then the podcast as well. Me llamo Ana Sheila. Um, I really just love doing work that helps foster like inclusion and belonging. And so all my work just like revolves around that. And this is just the, the latest extension of that. I am an actor and a writer. I also work in marketing as my day job, you know, trying to survive. I used to have a radio show when I was younger too, like in college right out of college. So I feel like coming back to this now with a different mindset, more experiences was like a beautiful journey to be on. I love that. Especially because yeah. we've known each other for so long, really? but not like known, uh -huh. known each other like that deep. And now we're getting yeah. to Yeah, it's cute. It's there. like, because I feel like in the Latino community here in LA, especially like, you know, so many people. Oh, yeah. Little, and so now we're like really getting to build, That's like, you good. know, we're coming, becoming like a little familia. That's good. Um, and the chemistry, I would imagine, is really good, right? Like when you guys are on the podcast, it's como todo fluye. Yeah. No. That's good. And, then you and with Nalgona, who is missing today. And with Nalgona, our co-host, who's fucking amazing. Y'all gotta oh. watch them. We also, we just wanted to have a lot of fun in this. Yeah. We have had a lot of fun, like, you know, Cesar, Nalgona, and Good our, way. like, amazing producers. Shout out to producer Joel and yeah. Eli. Be, 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 be. <laughs> what inspired you guys to start, like, your podcast, and what do you hope to achieve with it? For me, I had a I had a previous podcast called mm -hmm. Tamarindo Podcast. Uh, they've yes, actually been here as yes. well. And I love that I love being a part of that project. I was part of that project for five years. That's awesome. And I think what I really was wanting to create with this creative project is I really wanted something that was a little more oriented, like for the queer community. Mm -hmm. Life is hard right now it in is. a lot of ways. Inflation, we've got wars and mm -hmm. all types of things going on. Queer people are not feeling as safe and, and protected yeah. in a lot of ways. And we're feeling a lot of backlash in that in that way. And mm -hmm. so just creating more spaces of like care and comfort and, and safety felt really mm -hmm. important to me. But también joy. And yeah. that's like that's that's the combination of things that I feel like we're trying to bring to this podcast. It's also like a place for people that want to understand the community as well to kind yeah. of get to know each us, our struggles, our joys, mm -hmm. what we're going through. I mean, we laugh, we've cried on the podcast. I think we give good advice. So I feel like it's like you get a little bit of everything. Yeah. What's the funniest or most unexpected <laughs> yeah. like reaction you got when oh. you came like when you came out to your family? I told my brother and his first reaction and it was just perfect. I was like, oh, this is so perfect. He said, So you think you can get more girls than me or what? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I like, can pull them. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure, bro. <laughs> 
he has never Wait, that's like, so ever funny. happened with, with you and your brother though like that we had a with the like, same girl like, uh, yeah well, that has not happened because he's like been with the same girl his like his uh, whole life oh like, that's but, cute but i did have one time with a good friend uh-huh. um where he was like oh yeah i'm talking to this new girl it was, it was a guy and and he shows me and he shows me the picture and i was like oh like i matched with her on hinge <gasps> <laughs> and then and then he sends a picture to the girl of us together no oh, that's, Wait, that's funny cute. and if you could create a coming out survival kit for latino families uh what three items would you include Un rosario, no quiere. Wow. Holy water? <laughs> a candle of the Virgen, no quiere. A Beyonce. Well, I mean, I think like one thing is for sure having like you, like items that are comforting. Yeah. Right? yeah. You're a comfort person, mm-hmm. right? Someone that is just so loving. Oh, comfort yeah, person, cute. a comfort item. Like what's something that always makes you feel safe? A cobija san Marcos. Una cobijita. Una cobijita A mini one. A little mini one. <laughs> well, I guess we need a TV guide. Las Paleteras podcast in there. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. I love that. Yes. 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 Love for parents that. to understand us and yeah. then for other queers to, to feel identified. Oh, man. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Can we give them a round of applause, guys? Thank you, thank you so much of for course, having us. Of course, of course. And where can people watch or where can people listen to your podcast? You can listen everywhere. That, so on Spotify, a- Apple Podcasts. We also have a YouTube channel because we oh, are awesome. vid- uh, live. So, and that's we have an live? amazing... You guys should live? Oh, no, 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 live. I, oh, know. Okay. I, meant, I meant like... like All the like, episodes like, are oh, like recorded. Live. Yeah, got it, live. Got it, got it. And also on video, which is actually new for me, which is just beautiful having like a yeah. real like, set. And the set is beautiful. Again, shout out to producer Joel. It for, looks for, so cool. Yeah. I saw it. I'm like, damn, that's a work of art. Like, that's really dope. On Sonoro, on Instagram, on TikTok, Dang. Facebook, Alas yes. Paleteras Podcast. Yay! Yeah, keep up. Awesome, guys. Let's give it one more round of applause.